Yo, what's good, Tristans and Trist fam? Today we're gonna check out 10 famous singers slaying without microphones. But before we get started, be sure to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Let's just jump into this one. I always say the best singers can sing just off the cuff with no preparation. Just no microphone, nothing. Microphones change the way that singers sound, by the way. Once a singer is in front of a microphone, you don't know what's going on. They could be lip syncing, they could be doing anything. So when you hear them singing without a microphone, that's when you know. You got the real shit. We already know Ariana slays, though. And by the way, just to show, I have always talked about how Ariana Grande has a lot of breathiness in her lower range, and this really shows it to you. When you're trying to learn how to sing like somebody or to understand their vocal style, you listen to them without a microphone because you can really hear what they're doing. Yo. 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 And her belts up there are so mixed. They're so heady sounding. They're so light. When she's singing into a production, it sounds so much bigger than it really is. And don't get me wrong, that's still pretty loud and pretty intense, but it's not as full sounding as you might imagine it sounding in a record. This is old. This is back when she used to actually pronounce her lyrics. <laughs> you have my heart inside your head and you played it to the beat. Oh? She still got it. She still got it. Whistles are loud as hell, by the way, especially when the way that she does them the sh is loud. N not in a bad way, by the way. Damn! Her runs are so precise. I know you think my love is slipping away, but baby, it's all in your mind. Yeah. Right in your mind. Sang it. Baby, it's all in your mind. Wow. It is a different story when you hear her, when you hear her doing this without a microphone. It is so crazy how much control she has over her whistle range. I have never heard that before. I love this clip. And by the way, something I think is so interesting, you can really hear how Beyonce really belts those notes and how much energy and intensity she puts into, into her phrasing and how loud it is. I used to use this clip as an example for students just to show them how loud singing is, especially when you're singing in your upper mid range to upper range. Like it gets loud, especially if you're singing with a full sounding voice like Beyonce does. No missed notes, by the way. Everything is perfectly on bitch. You can't even hear the guitar. You barely can barely hear the guitar over how powerful her, vo her vocals are. I think she does that next. I've heard this so many times. I don't know who these these, these three are. Oh my god, that's such a pretty harmony. Wow. I don't wanna be like Cinderella sitting in the dark cold and still waiting for somebody to come and set me free. Don't wanna be no 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 one else. I'd rather rescue us. 
myself. Yo, she's got a microphone right there, sis. <laughs> oh, there we go. Damn, you could even hear her vibrato over it. And this next clip, I already know is what's coming. I've heard most of these because I hunt for these. I love clips with these singers without their microphones. It really shows how talented they are, in my opinion. I used this clip once as an example because there's another vocal coach out there who was saying that Lady Gaga has an average voice, which I thought was just unbelievably wrong. <laughs> so I used this clip as an example or a demonstration as to why they were wrong. That phrase gets me so annoyed, by the way, when people use that as an insult to singers, they have an average voice. First of all, if you're a vocal coach, you know, you know that the average singer does not sound like this. If the average singer sounded like this, we would all be Lady Gaga. <laughs> it just makes no sense. I just think that was ridiculous. The, the vocal coach herself is actually very talented, like re an amazing singer. I just thought that that was a bad take. Oh, he's so young. Is he singing this about Camila? That's V, right? Jin. Took me a second to, to remember. It's such a like a dark, full sounding voice. They're so good. Not only that, but they're outside. That's so hard to, it, it, it's actually surprisingly difficult to sing outside because you can't really, there's no walls or anything for the sound to reflect off of, so it can be kind of difficult to hear yourself. They always have the, the nicest harmonies ever. I've seen this clip. This clip is unbelievable because the amount of people around her and the amount of noise there must be and her ability to just sing over it. That vibrato was flawless. And it looks like it's even, it's cold outside. Everyone's in coats. She's still killing it though. <laughs> Why are people cl always clowning on Demi and saying she can't sing? That's so, oh my God. I just find that's always so silly. So silly. I 
I don't know who this is. Oh my god, she almost sounds like Tori Kelly, like in a really good way. It's not an insult, by the way. Sometimes when I say someone sounds like someone, I don't mean that they sound exactly the same. Obviously, she sounds... Anyway. Oh my god, I loved how she transitioned into her head voice on that note there. It was flawless. Oh my god! And the very- the intentional voice crack. That was awesome! Oh my god, I love that singer. I don't know who this is either. And watch us when we go Let this be our prayer Such a sweet voice. Oh my god. Okay, that was awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this with me. If you did, be sure you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell icon. And until next time, Tristan and Tristan fam, peace out. Knock me off my